Right, band in a box tutorial. Um, right, <coughs> so you can see on band in a box there's lots of gubbins. Uh, there's all this stuff down here, there's bits around here, and there's piano keyboards, and there's bits up there. Most of it won't bother with. So, what we're going to do is look at making a drum track with band in a box. Okay, so we zoom in. Alright, hopefully, you can still see the mouse here. Yeah, it's a bit where you can give your song a title if you so desire. Um, I never do, but you can if you want. Right, the first thing to do, if you look at this box here, that's your style. If you hold the mouse over, a little thing pops up saying current style name. Right. If you go to the drop down menu, so it says styles, you can choose from some basic styles. There, I'll list of them. They're the basic styles. So, some great groovy ones there. Some naff ones as well. Okay. Um, or, if you click on that, it goes to the bottom one. Browse styles with info. Yeah, a window pop up and there's billions on. Um, you see there's categories on the left. Jazz, Latin waltzes, rock, world styles, contemporary country. If you click on all at the top, give it a moment to refresh, that lists all the styles and some info about them. Some info there. something further and you can scroll through all of those with a little scrolly button there there's thousands of them if you think you see one that sounds a bit interesting you can click on it and you can, it tells you beats per minute etc over here gives you examples of what that style would produce never heard of those some info about the style but what I usually do is just click preview at the top gives you an idea of what it sounds like um, so you can go through all of those you can either list them all or you can just do it by style that will just list the pop rock styles uh, gives you a short preview then it loops around or whatever um, yeah, so those are the more advanced styles. There's literally hundreds of them. I think you can download new ones as well. Uh, and to the requested ones, we have all kinds of stuff, different tunings, and Zydeco. There, I'll listen to that preview. Cool. Enough of that. So, if you found one that you like, you just click OK. And it take you back to the other screen. So that's some more advanced styles, but we'll leave them for now. I'll just cancel that. Right, <coughs> and it's chosen that style I had last. But for this, we'll just use the basic built-in styles. So I go to styles, choose from built-in styles, and I'll choose heavy rock because that's the one I always use. Okay, so it, it's got the style. That whoops, it's got the style name there that little box there. Uh, it tells you what key it's going to be in but if you're using it as a drum machine it doesn't matter. All right. That little box there is a tempo it's saying 120 beats per minute. You, know, you can either increase that with the arrow come down or if you click on it, left click you can just type your beats per minute in. So I'll leave it at 120 for now Right, these boxes here are to do with the chorus in, we'll come back to that in a bit. Um, the loop, that means it'll play it, then it'll play it again, then it'll play it again, it'll just keep going ad infinitum, which is kind of cool when you're jamming along. Um, okay, so we're just going to, quick example of a drum machine 
um, just for jamming along so we can ignore that so if we click play gives us two bars counting and it gives us all this stuff but we only want the drums so if you see the instruments at the top if we right right click the mouse it mutes that item right click the mouse mutes that right click that it mutes that so all we're left with now is a drum track we'll just click stop so if now if we click play again all we'll get is a drum track so you can jam along that to your heart's content it's too slow you can just speed it up a bit Something like 140 or something. Right, and we can jam along to that. It's good fun. Right, so you sort of you want to record some of this so you can put it on the track or something. So you sort of look at your track and think, well it's 120 bars long at 140. I'll just change that to 140. 140 beats per minute and you've got 120 bars so we can start on bar one obviously 120 um, you could divide that up into something like make one section 30 bars this is just to vary the pattern right so if we do that four times 30 times four is our required amount of bars and that's how long it would last three point three and a half minutes so time of the track and it's going to play 30 bars four times so we click play That'll go through that until it reaches 120 bars and it'll stop. It has a nasty feature of adding two bars at the end. So if you go for settings for this song, generate two bars at the end, I always get rid of that. I don't know why it does that. I don't like it. Right, so we've now programmed this to play 120 bars at 140 beats per minute, which will give us a song lasting 3.3 minutes 29 seconds. So we want to record it, so we can add it to our audio track. So there's various ways of doing it, depends on your hardware. What you can do is go to audio, render MIDI to stereo, then click. You should get a box saying, it won't work on this one. You get a box saying make sure your MIDI, your recording uh, section is set up to MIDI and then you would click that and just follow the instructions and it would save it by default there as a WAV file but I use um, a different sound card uh, so mine won't actually do that so what I do is I open Audacity right? I change my preferences to make sure it will record the MIDI, which on here is at the bottom. Oops, is it gone? Click OK, and then I would click record. So that's recording nothing at the moment. Go back to band in a box, click play. Go back here, look at Audacity again, and it's recording that drum beat. So you just let it run till the end, it'll record your 120 bars, and then when it's finished, just stop audacity, and that's it, you can then clear out bits, import it into your audio track and jam along with it. That's basically it. Cool, huh?